Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, everyone, from the sun-drenched Egan Wildcat Stadium. This is the South Suburban Tilt between your Egan Wildcats and the visiting Rosemont Irish, just up the road, Highway 3. Welcome, all you Rosemont fans. Appreciate you coming out. Hopefully, uh, there's plenty of time. We've got a doubleheader today. Come on out and enjoy this game. Enjoy the weather. I know we're going to have some hot dogs out here and stuff like that. Get out of the house. Open the windows. Let's go. It's softball season. Couldn't be more happier for the girls that we're getting a good uh, season break here with the sunshine. The fields are looking in excellent shape. Did a walk around. Uh, got a nice dry infield. Outfield is dry. Got a pretty good breeze blowing out today into right field from the south wind. About 13 to 15 miles an hour. This is early in the season, uh, but all games are very important when you play South Sub Suburban Conference foes, stuff like that, such as Rosemont. Typically, uh, Egan and Rosemont like to do this doubleheaders, and we're mostly doing doubleheaders because we do have an umpiring shortage. So if you are interested in doing um high school umpiring, we need you. Reach out and go to the Minnesota State High School League. And so starting out with the batting order with the Minnesota Irish, leading off is number 36, CC Hansen, number 13, Ari Prinzel, number 12, Gracie Newson, number 9, Kayla Bartle, number 21, Jory Fry, number 5, Julia Wigley, number 32, Morgan Honeycutt. On the mound this afternoon, number 14, Drew Busley for the Egan Wildcats. Drew Busley is a committed to the University of South uh, Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Ball one. Second pitch on the way, we have a swinging pitch. We have a 1-1 one, one count. Once again, the wind is blowing pretty good out to the right field fence. So it'll be challenging for those outfielders to track that ball. It's gonna be spinning a lot to the, from the left to the right to the left. Foul ball. Got a one two count here. Prinzel is a left handed batter, as you can see. Infield, outfield pretty much straight up. Strike three on the inside. One down. Good inside pitch. Drew throws the normal fastball, change up, curveball, rise ball. Fielding, fielding for the Egan Wildcats, starting defense. Behind the plate, number 64, Taylor, Taylor Bertrand. Number 14, Drew Busley on the mound. Number 70, Maddie Fletcher, left on uh, third base. Number three, Megan Witt is at shortstop. Lauren Larson, number 42, is at second base. Number 16, Jaden Turner is at first in the outfield. In right field, number one, Ellie Marsden. Straight up center field, number 30, Lauren Borgia. Number 98, Isla Loblosser in left field. Ball one. We have a strike. We've got a 1-1 one, one count. Number 13, Newson is up to bat for Rosemont. Yeah. 
even got a little dust blowing, so you know the field is in good shape. Ground ball to third base, Matty Fletcher. Nice recovery by Jaden Turner. Get that high ball, dive back to first. Outstanding play by Jaden Turner Sr. Jaden Turner, one of the Wildcat captains. That ball may take off when throwing to uh, the, that ball around. Number 12, Newsom is up to bat. She is committed to the University of St. Thomas. Two outs here, top of the first. There's a ball high. Once again, spectacular day out here at Egan Wildcat Softball Stadium. Good, good group of fans already. That ball three high. It, excuse me, two balls, one strike. Coach Duncan on the, along the third base side, giving the signs to Taylor, which relays him to Drew. Swing and a miss, 2-2 two -two count. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Change up a little high, ball three. Full count. And the pitch. Line drive, center field. Lauren didn't get quite down on that ball. Turns into a double. Looks like the ball actually probably went underneath the fence. So it's automatic dead ball, automatic double. Two down here in the top of the first, early in the game. Looks like we're gonna have a pinch runner for Rosemount. Bartle up to bat, number nine. Got all the running situation under control here. All right, two down, top the first. And the pitch, fly ball. Oh, great catch. That wind is really dancing around out there. Good job by Lauren out there. Three down. One stranded. Top of the first. No runs. One hit. No errors. Bottom of the first coming up. My character, Shazam, knows all about growing up in a family full of teenage superheroes. They're bold. Where's everyone going? To fight crime. Okay. Adventurous. Shazam! There's never a dull moment. And no matter what happens, they'll always have your back. All they need is a place to grow and be themselves. And the best part is, you don't have to be a superhero to adopt a teen. Learn more about adopting a teen from foster care. Visit AdoptUSKids.org. You can't imagine the reward. Welcome back. Egan Wildcat Stadium. Bottom of the first. Got a South Suburban Conference Double header this today, and mostly because we're doing uh, South Suburban Conference is doing double headers because we do have a shortage of umpires, so it's best to once in a while do up uh, a few double headers here and there to help alleviate that. Bottom of the first, Egan coming up, leading it off will be number 14, Drew Busley. All right, batting order for the Eagle Wildcats. Number 14, Drew Busley. Number 23, Joss McClary. Number 3, Jaden Turner. Fourth inning, Taylor Bertrand. Fifth hole, number 3, Megan Witt. Number 1, Ellie Marsden. Number 70, Maddie Fletcher. 
Number 30, Lauren Barger. Number 16, I Love Low Blosser. That is the Egan lineup batting order for today. On the mound is number 21, Miss Fry. Miss Fry is uncommitted at this time. Uh, as you know, sometimes the college recruiting process can be long and drawn out. She's, you know, she's got several uh, institutions, colleges that she is looking at, both in D1 and D2 the level. Pop fall, look out. Just over the backstop here. Everybody tracking that ball on the pop fly. One strike to Drew. As mentioned before, Drew Bussley will be going to the University of Sioux Falls. Two sport athletes, she'll be playing basketball also. Pitch number two, just outside. One ball, one strike. The wind, I can tell you the wind is even swirling in here behind home plate. So outside, ball two. So it looks like it's going directly out to left field, but then it's kind of like doing a little swirl into the uh, you know, play. So we're almost coming in here. It's a uh, uh, line draw to center field. Nice, solid line hit. One down for the Egan. Next up for Egan, number 23, Jocelyn McClary. Christian Duncan up asking something of the referee, head referee behind home plate. Jocelyn's a junior. Jocelyn also plays basketball. Egan had a pretty good year for Egan's basketball. One out, bottom of the first. Outside. Ball one. South Suburban Conference has got a lot of double headers today, so we'll try to keep updated as we can if we can uh, with some scores from other South Suburban games going on. Change up, swing, strike one. Got one, one count. Once again, if you're not doing much, come on out. Enjoy the weather. Outside pitch, strike. One ball, two strikes to Jocelyn McClary. As I said, this is early in the season. This is actually um, just outside, ball two. This is uh, Egan's uh, second home game series. So last Wednesday they played Apple Valley. Foul ball. Last Tuesday, the Monday's game last week, Monday for against Egan versus Shockby, ended up being canceled. They played the following night, uh, Tuesday night at Shockby. Lost a tough one there, three and two. Two balls, two strikes. Pop fly, foul ball. Hanging tough. Really hammering those outside pitches here today. And it may be just because the wind is blowing to the outside for the left-handed hitters here. Change up, swing and a miss. Two down. That brings up senior captain, number 16, Jaden Turner. Okay, the uh, Rosemont Irish starting defense behind the plate, Newson, number 21, Jory Fry on the mound, number 32, Morgan Honeycutt is at first, Rachel Stone at second, Harry Prinzel is at Short, number 13, Julia Wigley at third. We're gonna follow up as we go. Got a foul ball there. One ball, one strike to Jaden Turner. Jaden Turner's been in the program for four years now, so she's been a great asset and be, surely be missed. Line drive to short. That's three down. End of the first. Egan zero, Rosemont zero.
donating pet food can keep families together. Pets and people belong together. Learn more at petsandpeopletogether.org. How you holding up? Nothing wrong with getting help. If I promise to look into it, will you drop it and help me build this fence? <laughs> now you need my help. If you or a veteran you know needs support, don't wait. Reach out. Find resources at va.gov reach. Welcome back, Eagan Wildcat Stadium. Hey, Terry's current weather, temp is 67 degrees, winds 15 miles an hour out of the south. Zero precipitation, humidity 29%. Once again, wind is definitely picking up. Uh, it's like I said, it's swirling a little bit. Seems like it's south, looks, sometimes it looks like it's from the east. Outfielders definitely got their work cut out for them today. Pitchers will also have their work cut out because that ball is going to travel a little bit within the strike zone. The hitters making it very difficult for the hitters. All right, leading off here, Rosemont, top of the second inning. Number 21, Joy Fry. Hard hit ball out to one half to the fence. And he picks it up pretty quick. Got it in there. Just happened to hit the gap. Stand up double for Jory to begin with for Rosemont. Rosemont's got something going here. No outs. Runner on second. Looks like we're going to have a pinch runner for Jory out there. The pitcher. The staff coming in to run for Joy, number two. Nobody down. Top of the second. Rosemont's got runner out on second. Got something going here in the second inning. Uh, next up for the Irish, number five, the third right. baseman, Julia Wigley. All right. Batty next is number five, Miss Wigley. Out. Looks like there. Outstanding job. Lauren Larson to Megan Wick. Megan Wick quickly getting over there. Nice stretch by Megan. Get that out. Get that double up. That was a good hard hit. All right, brings up Nest. Two down here. Number 32, Morgan Honeycutt. Two down, foul ball. Look out everybody. Great crowd out here today. Absolutely great crowd. Thank you very much, Rosemont fans, for coming on out. I know Rosemont and Egan are kind of heated rivalry, sometimes not so heated because I know a lot of these softball parents know each other from the Egan side and Egan parents know the Rosemont people. So it's fun just to get to know everyone. We're one ball, one strike to Morgan. Strike on the outside. Hi. Okay, that second pitch was a ball, so we got three balls on strike. Umpire looked like he had that hand up there for a strike. My apologies. Three balls on strike. He's having cut. Change up a little bit high. Sent to Morgan first base. Once again, Rosemont got a runner on the base, first base. Next up, the second base for number 22, Rachel Stone. All right. Next up, number 22, Miss Stone. Two out. That's a ball. Skips past Taylor. 
Runner advances down to second. Sometimes those balls skip a little bit and you never know if they're going to come up high on you. Quickly got it back in. Runner only advances to second. Ball two, a little bit low. Wind picks up and wind sells down. Drew with the lob ball. Three balls, no strikes. Two down, top of the second here. Three zero count to Miss Stone at the plate. Ball low. She advance to first. All right, next up, number 56, Peyton Benson. Runners at first and third, two down. Ball low. Runner does not take off. Sometimes you see in this situation, a runner will kind of take off because they know they got a runner at third. Sometimes they want to provoke a throw. Ball one down low. Ball number two, nothing but runner advances from first to second. Runner at third does not make an attempt to come home. Drew quickly got down to cover home plate. That ball, Egan has lively backstops. Those are pretty hard pads, so that ball bounced back pretty quick. Taylor to able to get on it pretty quick. Drew is pretty quick off the mound. Coach Stockton has called a quick timeout to go out and settle down his pitcher, Drew. Kind of deep breath, reset yourself, recheck, reset yourself. Two balls, no strikes, two, top of the second inning. We got two outs. Peyton Benson at the plate. Rosemont game the other day. They played Rosemont, beat Ro or excuse me, played Farmington, beat Farmington three to two. Farmington. South Suburban Conference just loaded top to bottom this year. This year you got Lakeville North, Lakeville South, you got Rosemont, you got Farmington. Uh, so you've got a lot of contending teams that are going to be uh, battling it out. But uh, when it comes to sectionals, uh, a lot of these teams do have their different sections. Ball three. Three balls, one strike, two outs. Runners at second and third. Looking in for the pitch. Change up, ball four. That loads the bases. All right, brings up number 36, CeCe Hansen. Another thing you probably got to kind of look out for, the lot of dirt now starting to, dirt is drying out, so it's getting a little windy. Ball one low. One ball, no strikes. In there for a strike. One ball, one strike. CC Hansen, left-handed. Just looking to get this ball in play. A pie, she's able to hold that back on that. Ball two. Drew Busley with the pitch. Comebacker to Drew Busley. Quickly puts that out. Egan Rosemont. Game going on here. Unfortunately, Rosemont left the bases full. Bob the second coming up.
honey, what I think you need is a socket wrench. I played JV basketball. I'm sorry. I don't think it looks right. This is good, I, and it's all is good, it, baby. Is it really all good? If you love me enough to routinely test your handyman skills, not to mention the strength of your marriage, then of course you'll visit nhtsa.gov slash the right seat to make sure I'm in the right car seat. I'm going to call my dad. Welcome back to Eagle Wildcat Stadium, bottom of the second inning. We've got a 0-0 tilt here. Still plenty of time. Come on out. We'd really enjoy if you came out and enjoy the uh, Egan softball and Rosemont Irish softball. South Suburban Conference game. Great game here. Uh, I'll be very honest. You know, a lot of Egan people know the Rosemont people. Uh, a lot of friendships out there on the field and also in the stands with the parents and so forth like that. So welcome, Rosemont. All right. Leading off the, off the home the half the of the second inning. Number Leading it off, Taylor number Bertrand. 64, Taylor Bertrand. Taylor's done an outstanding job stepping in behind the plate here. All right, up high for ball one for Rainbow Fry. Inside, ball two. Like I said, with this wind here, the pitcher's kind of got to do a little as they say, physics and calculation. Throw that ball and let that wind take that into the inside pitch or whatever. All right, so we have an illegal pitch. She started her motion, so because she started her motion of her, her arm, that makes it an illegal pitch. For the girls, putting braids in their hair is the main, the main point. All right. Because that was the illegal pitch that made it to ball three, and that just now was ball four. Taylor Bertrand goes down to first base. Next up, number three, Megan Witt. Shortstop, Megan is a senior this year, and is also committed to the University of Wisconsin Superior Yellow Jackets next year with co for Coach Fracker. A pie, ball one. Coach Duncan barking out singles on the third base side. Signals are primarily telling the runner and batter what kind of play he wants to go on. Pop fly, Megan Witt, right field. That wind is weird. Kind of hung up there a little bit with that wind. Definitely want to try to pull that ball today. All right, next up, senior captain. Ellie Marsden. Pop fly. Short's got it. Looks like he was carrying a little bit. Got it. It's quickly two down. First pitch swing. All right, next up for Egan. Two outs. Brings up number 70. Maddie Fletcher. Side for a strike. It's a quick throw down to first. Maddie Fletcher's done a great job filling in here in the, on the third base side. Really filled in nicely. Inside for a strike. Maddie's also our backup catcher behind Taylor. Up high. Strike three. So that ends two innings. Still got a tough one going on here. Rosemont Irish zero, Egan Wildcat zero at Egan Wildcat Stadium. How do you know when you've made the right decision? It's the feeling you get in your gut. The one that tells you what's right or wrong. It's the voice inside you that says, I'm buzzed. Better leave the car when it's time to go. Buzz driving is drunk driving.
Welcome back, Eagan Wildcat Stadium. Quickly looking at the South Suburban Conference standings. Rosemont sitting at the top at 2-0. Lakeville North at 1-0. Lakeville South at 1-0. Burnsville 1-1. Egan 1-1. Very early in the season, so you can tell that uh, a lot of uh, movement will be happening here after this weekend because a lot of the, all the teams got doubleheaders this weekend for uh, going on uh, throughout the season. And then also the, girl, you know, the girls are pretty much playing two games, three games a week here. So... You come back to me next week. That standing board is going to look quite different, uh, uh, where everything is going to be shuffled out and so forth like that. Like I said, we've got some pretty good powerhouse teams here within the South Suburban Conference. Uh, if you ask my personal opinion, it's one of the toughest conferences in the Twin Cities. I know some, the North Suburban probably have a, a, a different viewpoint on that. Of course, Lake up there, Sean Hall with his Rangers, and. Uh, also, Creighton Durham Hall looking pretty tough this year. Creighton Durham Hall knocked off Forest uh, Lake earlier th this week. So, outstanding! Pulled the ball, Maddie Fletcher with the leather. There you go, Maddie. Well, that happened quick. I, my apologies, didn't get to announce who the batter was. All right, number up no, next, number twelve. Maybe Prinzel. Top of the third. Zero, zero. All knotted up. Ball, ball to the right. Slicing out pretty good. I think Mars not able to track that down. It was pretty close to the fence. That so would have been an outstanding play. All right, one one count, one out. Top of the third. Ball inside. As you can tell everyone, it's absolutely gorgeous out here. Not a cloud in the sky, the sun feels great. A little windy, but you know what? It's all right. Still a great day for softball. Good scoop by Maddie. She just kind of got away from her on the toss. Launched it over to Jaden there. Jaden uh, couldn't quite stretch out for one, uh, that one, as they say. So unfortunately, I'll give Maddie error on the day. Runner at first. All right, it brings up number nine. Kayla Bartle at the plate. One down. Rose not threatening. Slicing to the right. Larry Marsden couldn't quite hang on to that one. Looks like the runners are going to move up. Ends up being a double. Just off the edge. Larry Marsden's glove out there was slicing and just couldn't quite catch up to that. Rosemont threatening here. One out, runners on third and second. Next up, number 21, Joey Fry. All right, that brings up number 21, Joey Fry. Down low from Drew Busley. One ball. Let's see if Egan can pickle their way out of this one. One down, runners at second and third. Might be just squeezing the ball a little bit too much there with from Drew. Two balls, no strikes, one out. And there for a strike, two balls, one strike. You can hear all the teams Shouting encouragement to their players out on the field, both sides. You can carry a few more players this year. We've got six seniors on the field, or six seniors on the team. Rosemont a little bit less. Ball, ball. Brings it to two balls, two strikes. Could be a pivotal point of the game here. You can get out of this.
Change up. It's always tough for that batter. Seeing that change up just kind of floating up there, you're like, you really got to hold. You got to have patience. You almost got to do the old one Mississippi, two Mississippi count. Let that ball travel. Drive it to the right field. Inside. All right, up high. Shoot it! Shoot it! Hold it, hold it, hold it. All right. All right, ball got past Taylor. Jaden Turner came in. A little confusion on whether Drew just was going to go to the plate or Taylor was going after the ball. So they end up scoring on that. Just got underneath the tag from Jaden. Good try, though, by them, by Egan. We did get the out on the fly ball. So that's two down. I just kind of maybe launched that one a little bit. All right, number five, Miss Wiggly up to bat. Once again, ball coming out of Drew's hand a little funny. The back step, runner decided not to advance. Two balls, Rosemont has a runner on third. Miss Wiggly at the plate, one ball, zero strikes. It's a strike on the outside. One ball, one strike. Top of the third here, Rosemont, Egan. Swing and a miss, oh, it looks like foul ball. Ball tip. One ball, two strikes. Top of third, Rosemont, runner on third. Foul ball, change up. Let's get that patience on the hitter on those change ups is really important. Drew Busley with the pitch. Outside, swinging miss. All right, we end up. Rosemont scoring one run. Going to the bottom half of the third. Rosemont one, Egan zero. Hi, I'm Smokey Bear, and I made an assistant to help you out because only you can prevent wildfires. Hey, Assistant Smokey Bear, call me Papa Bear because I'm grilling up dinner. <laughs> do you get it? Yes, good job. So what should I do with all these coals? Don't just toss them out. Put them in a metal container because those embers can start a wildfire. I understand. The stakes are high. Ha, 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 ha. See, Smokey thinks I'm funny. Welcome back. Egan Wildcat Stadium on this Saturday afternoon. Absolutely gorgeous weather out there. A little windy, but it's okay. We've got South Suburban Conference tilt for Rose, visiting Rosemont Irish up the road, Highway 3. Here, Egan Wildcats. Going in the bottom of third here. Rosemont did collect one run that last inning. Egan's got two errors right now. Rosemont's got three hits. Number 21 is Fry on the mound for Rosemont. Up to bat, number 30, Lauren Borg. Squares are on, bunts it foul. Trying to put it down, see what those. Rosemont crashing in from first and third. Lauren's got great speed, very good speed. So it's a fine point of putting it just far enough down the lines. Get yourself a good lead. Swing and a miss by Lauren there. O2 count. Favor of Rosemont. Right now Rosemont up, one nothing. Bottom of the third. Outside. Ball one.
Once again, as stated, this is a South Suburban Conference uh, game. A pie. Ball two. Pretty much all the South Suburban teams are in play today, playing uh, around the uh, around the area here. Out ball. Two balls, two strikes. Number 30, Lauren Borger at the plate. Ooh, inside, she kind of saved herself. Through the bat at it, got a foul ball. Sometimes you just got to save yourself, right? Sometimes, though, you need to take that pitch. Get on any way you can. Two balls, two strikes. Down low, ball. Lauren working the count, it's three and two. Three, two count, and the pitch. Once again, followed by Lauren. Next pitch up. Like the rise ball there. Two down, bottom of three. Brings up number 98, Isla Lobelser. And next up, number 98, the left fielder, Isla This is Lila's first year in varsity. Outstanding player. Been an excellent asset to the union program. Good speed. Left handed, good left handed bat. Just outside. Coach Duncan likes her at the bottom of the lineup because then she can be a table setter next up for the top of the lineup. And she is absolutely produced so far this year for Egan. Down low. Three balls, no strikes. The pitch, a pie, ball four. It's a great walk. All right, brings it back to the top of the lineup for Egan. Drew Busley, Coach Duncan barking out signals. Good speed on the bases, like I said, with Isla. Rosemont getting their defensive signals going. Up the middle. And moves the runners on. Runners at first and second. Solid ground ball by Drew. All right, brings up next, number 23, Jocelyn McClary. Jocelyn's also playing his basketball. Outside for a ball. Jocelyn also has got some good speed. Jocelyn plays basketball with Drew, the girls team. Change up, swing. 1-1. One, one. And the pitch. Up high. Isla out there dancing around second, see if she can draw a throw. <laughs> Two balls, one strike to Jocelyn McClary at the plate. Bottom of the third. Egan's got them, something going on here. Outside, ball three. Egan's got runners at first and second. One down. Three balls, one strike to Jocelyn. Oh, great bunt. Absolutely a great bunt. Being left-handed, putting that bunt down. It really made good sense there. Got bases loaded. One down. 
Senior captain Jaden Turner coming up to bat. Brings up the senior captain, the first baseman, JJ. Bottom of the third here, South Suburban Conference tilt. Rosemont Irish, Eagan Wildcats at, here at Eagan Wildcats Stadium. One down, Eagan's got the bases loaded. Up to bat, Jaden Turner. Ball back. As I mentioned before, here in South Suburban, a lot of double headers within the South Suburban Conference going on today. All right, weak throw to first. Got her at first. Weak hit. Throw to home. On to first for a double play. Strands all the runners. End of three, Rosemont Irish one, Eagan Wildcat zero. Hi, I'm Ryan Blaney, a third generation race car driver. And we dedicate a lot of our time to going as fast as possible. But when my grandpa was diagnosed with Alzheimer's, it was a very unexpected bump in the road for us. It's important to notice if older family members are acting differently, experiencing problems with their memory, or having trouble with routine tasks. Early detection of Alzheimer's can give your family time to explore support services, make a plan for the future, and access available treatments. If you or your family are noticing changes, it could be Alzheimer's. Talk about seeing a doctor together. How do you know when you've made the right decision? It's the feeling you get in your gut, the one that tells you what's right or wrong. It's the voice inside you that says, I'm buzzed. Better leave the car when it's time to go. Buzz driving is drunk driving. Welcome back, Eaton Wildcat Stadium. Got a good game going here. We still got time. Come on out. We got a double header going on. Hey, we're having hot dogs. If there's any better reason to come on out. Rosemont Irish one, Eaton Wildcats zero. Go to the top of the fourth. Got a great game going on here um, within the uh, uh, both South Suburban teams. All right, up to bat number 32, Morgan Honeycutt. On the mound for Egan, Drew Busley down low, ball one. So today, Shockaby is at Burnsville. That is a double header also. Lake the South is at Prior Lake. Fall back. Heads up, heads up. Behind the dugout. One ball, one strike. So Lake the South is at Prior Lake today. Apple Valley is at Lakeville North. Just a few of the other double headers that are going out there. And the pitch, a pie. It's a ball, two balls, one strike, top of the fourth. These two teams play during the winter dome ball session. And then for a strike, two balls, two strikes. So these both these teams are very familiar with each other's tendencies, where to pitch and so forth like that. Plus a lot of the girls know each other on both teams. Change up by Drew, strike three, swinging. Bring one down. One down. Top of the fourth. Rosemont Irish one. Eagan Wildcats zero. Brings up number 22 for Rosemont. Miss Stone. Down low for ball one. You may see the dust starting to blow a little bit out there. In there for a swinging strike. One ball, one strike. Eaton Wildcats led by head coach Christian Duncan. For Rosemont head coach Tiffany Rose. Fall ball. Ooh, Jaden Turner just couldn't quite get her hands on that. Got close to the fence. Probably didn't have anybody really talking to her. Tried to catch it up against the fence. Still fall ball, so it'd be the one ball, two strikes. Good, 
Ball outside up high. Two balls, two strikes. That's hard hit. That's going to be over her head to the fence. Stone in for a double, stand up double. That was hard hit. Probably missed that by a quarter inch. Quarter inch got lower underneath the bat. That ball would have been definitely going to have been gone. All right, number brings up number 56, Peyton Benson. To the plate. Once again, Rosemont putting a runner on the base, starting out at second base, nobody out. Excuse me, one down. In there for a strike outside. One down, Rosemont, Irish up, leading one nothing, runner in second. Two bustling on the mound, pitching for the Eagle Wildcats. Swing and a miss, a little bit of a rise ball there. No balls, two strikes. Pop fly, Let's see if we can get it. Drew Busley underneath it. Grabbing it. It's two down for Rosemount. Good, good cut on that. Top of the fourth. Change up up high, one ball. Brings up the top of the order here, CeCe Hansen, number 36. We'll buy her quick over to talk to Coach Duncan. Got a ball that's probably got become damaged. We can get another one back in play as a backup. On the mound, Drew Busley for Eugene Wildcats. Swing and a miss by CeCe. CC, I believe, will be going to the South Dakota State, become a Jackrabbit next year. Outside. Ball. Congratulations to her. We've got a, quite a few players out here, so congratulations, all the girls. If I don't get everyone mentioned, my apologies, but job well done. Rosemont's got a very strong young community program. That's a ball, they'll let the runner. Advance over to third base on the pass ball. One pitch, one four, one pitch. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Runner on third base. Irish leading one nothing at the top of the fourth. Drew looking in for the pitch count. Taylor giving the sign. Ground ball. Warren Larson. And that resides aside. Irish threatened, but nothing. Rosemont Irish one, Eaton Wildcats zero, coming up the bottom of the fourth. It's something about having that piece of paper. Some people would think that's worth more than my skills. I've run this place for 20 years, but I still need to prove that I'm more than what you see on paper. so good they can't ignore you. It's the way my mind works. I have a very mechanical brain. Analytics and empathy. That's how I gain clients. I am more. I'm more than who I am on paper. Donating pet food can keep families together. Pets and people belong together. Learn more at petsandpeopletogether.org. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Eaton Wildcats Stadium. Got a great South Suburban Conference game going on here. Visiting Rosemont Irish 1, Eaton Wildcats 0. We're at the bottom of the fourth. Just looking at all the stands. Got a great group of people. Even got a bunch of alumni that come out. So help support the squad. Even a lot of young people, a lot of Rosemont fans. Thank you, Rosemont fans, for coming on down. Appreciate your support, supporting your team. Great program. Eating Wildcat fans showing up in force also. 
All right, up to bat, number 64, Taylor Bertrand. Ooh. Taylor pulling that foul, making Coach Duncan do the dance. How about he dance? On the mound, Miss Fry. Like I said, she's uncommitted right now where she's going. A ball, a pie for a ball. One ball, two strikes. Outside for strike, catches that outside corner. One down. For the Wildcats, that brings up number three, senior Megan Witt, shortstop. Megan You can see a few of the uh, girls basketball players out here support. Outside for a ball. Let's get that. The wind is blowing from uh, right to left towards left field. Kind of went out and reached for that change up. One ball, one strike. Inside for a ball. Megan checked on that. Two balls, one strike. Special thanks again to Egan TV coming on out and help support local high school sports. Change up. Maybe just couldn't pull the trigger on that. Two balls, two strikes, one out. Bottom of the fourth. Rosemont Irish one, Egan Wildcat zero. A pie for ball. Egan runs the, Megan runs the count full. Three balls, two strikes. Even got a lot of fans out in the outfield today. Swing the mix by Megan inside. Got her. Two down. Brings up number one, Ellie Marston. Captain, senior captain. Near for a strike. Ground ball down to third. Bobby a little bit. Ellie hustles down to first base. Gets down there. Gets it. Gets first base on time. Beats the throw out. All right. That brings up number 70, Maddie Fletcher. Runner first for Egan. Two outs. Bottom of the fourth. Fouled off. May had a spectacular line drive catch here, second inning. The pitch. Outside. Ball is dropped. That allows Ellie to take off down the second. So Egan puts a runner in scoring position, two down. One ball, one strike. Good job by Kelly Marston there, taking off on that. And the pitch. Inside for a strike. Stop. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, bottom of the fourth. Egan's got a runner in second. Is Fry on the mound. On the pitch, outside. 
Runs a count full. Three, three balls, two strikes. Runner should be taking off here. Change up. Got her frozen. Got a good, good change up. All right, after four, Rosemont Irish one, Egan Wildcats zero. Maybe another time. Thanks, so. Hey, Charles, how do you like your burger? Ooh, well done, I hope. <sighs> I love this tree. Hey, honey. When you thought we'd try something new? Family art hour. Come on, sit down. Okay, guys, what do you think? That is you. Oh, you got jokes. You're funny. That is you. And that is your son and your other son. Learn about adopting a teen from foster care. You can't imagine the reward. Visit adoptuskids.org. Welcome back, Eagan Wildcat Stadium. Great afternoon of softball here. Got a doubleheader going on. Rosemont Irish visiting Egan Wildcats. Top of the fifth, Rosemont Irish one, Egan Wildcats zero. Brings up number 13. This Prinzel of Rosemont. 0 for 2 on the day. On the mound for Egan, Drew Busley. Ball back. Got lively fence back here, so always got to kind of watch yourself. Taylor Bertrand behind the plate. And the pitch. Kind of a circle change. Didn't quite get it far enough there. Two balls, one strike. Stop by Taylor there. It's a ball though. Three balls, one strike. That's a strike. It's like the wind died down and all of a sudden it picks right back up. All right, runs the count full. Three balls, two strikes. For Miss Prissel. Kind of threw the bat out there, got it up the middle. Base hit. It's again, Rosemont putting a runner on the base. Brings up number 12, Miss Newsom. Going to St. Thomas. Playing, playing for St. Thomas. Side for a strike. Umpire doesn't raise his hand all the way, so sometimes it's hard to tell if it's a ball or strike. Another strike, throw it on the first. Runner gets back. Good throw by Taylor. No balls, two strikes. for a ball. A lot of fans out in the outfield. A lot of parents just out there walking around. Outside for a ball. Pack stands here in the house also. Two balls, two strikes. Throwing the change up, just couldn't quite the drop. The float in there. Three balls, two strikes, nobody out. Rosemont's, Rosemont's got a runner on first. 
The wind has kind of swirled. It's it's picked up. It's slowed down. Uh, right now, it's right about the same. That's a ball four. Puts runners at first and second for Rosemount. Nobody out. Rosemount threatening again here. Pretty much Rosemount's put runners on almost every inning. Once again, we got pinch runner. Coach Duncan calls a timeout to go out and talk to the infield. What we're going to do, nobody out. we got runners on first and second. Kind of set up a play, what we're going to do defensively. Looks like we got a... Looks like we're having a pitching change. Drew Bussey are coming out. Coming in will be number 11, Lydia Toberg. Lydia, senior. Strong pitcher. With that defensive move also, that will send uh, Drew Busley out to center field. Infield will remain the same. So upcoming coverage, we got the boys lacrosse, St. Thomas Academy at Egan. They'll be on Tuesday, April 16th. Prep baseball, we got Burnsville at Egan. That's on Wednesday, April 17th at 4 p.m., 4.30 p.m. And then boys volleyball, just sanctioned this year. Excited to see that. Hopefully Gus Berman will be doing play-by-play -play there. Bloomington, Jefferson, and Egan. That's on Wednesday, April 17th at 7 p.m. also. Right on Egan TV. Once again, cannot thank you enough. Egan TV, outstanding job. I don't see why you guys don't win more awards. Your coverage of high school sports here, especially in the Egan community and so forth like that, uh, is absolutely outstanding. And I know as an Egan parent myself, uh, I find myself watching a lot of Egan TV when the other teams are playing, especially during the winter time and so forth like that. And it's just not, just not all, you know, the basketball, the swimming, the football. It's just outstanding job. And I cannot thank you enough, all the crew people that come out here and dedicate, give their Saturday afternoon on. Uh, thank you again, Egan TV. My heart's to you. A lot of love. All right, bottom of the fifth here, or excuse me, top of the fifth, we've got nobody out. Runners at first and second for Rosemont. That brings up. Miss Bartle, high outside by Lydia. Irish had pretty much have had runners every inning. Ooh, kind of floated that one in there, must have been a little bit inside. Two balls, no strikes to Miss Bartle. She's one for two on the day. Just inside, another ball. Change up. Three balls, no strikes. I'm going to really kind of stick with this runner here, or with this batter. See if Liddy can battle back. And the pitch. Just outside, up high. Ball four, loads the bases up. For Rosemont. Brings up pitcher Joy Fry. One for two of the day. Outside for a strike. Troy has an older sister playing North Dakota also. Oh, one count. Swing and a miss. Bases loaded for you, Rosemont. No balls, two strikes, nobody out, nobody out. Pivotal point of the game right here, top of the fifth. Egan needs to get out of this. Just outside for ball, one ball, two strikes. Video looking in for the pitch. Pop fly, this is just gonna get out, look out in the hand stands. Everybody, everybody okay? Yep, that's good. The ball hits the stands, you never know which way, which direction it's gonna take off. Once again, great crowd out here. Down low for a ball. 
two balls, two strikes once again. Thank you to Rosemont fans, all the Eagan fans. Come on out here. Great crowd out here today. Uh, we welcome all. We welcome all. We got the puppies out here also. I've never seen a cat at a game, though. I would love to see someone bring their cat to a game. Enjoy the dogs. Ball ball. Just over the roof of the dugout on the Rosemont side. Two balls, two strikes. Once again, nobody out. Bases loaded for Rosemont. Top of the fifth here. Pivotal point of the game. Video looking in for the pitch. Just got that pass. One run scored. Right. Just gets that over there down the third base side. One run in on one hit. Bases are still loaded. Nobody out for Rosemont. We'll see if we bring, have a pinch runner come in at all. Courtesy runner. Courtesy runner again for the pitcher. All right, nobody out. Top of the fifth. Bases loaded by Rosemont. They've been threatening in every inning. Irish up 2 nothing. Number five, Miss Wiggly up to bat. A strike. Over two at the plate today. Wind is picked up looking at the outfield flags. Kind of weird. A pie for a ball. Egan puts flags out in the outfield on almost every post, so it's the, you can really see the, how it swirls. Sometimes the right field flags will be. Fair ball down the line. That's probably going to clear the bases. All the way to the fence. Brings in for a double. Clears the bases. Stand up double. Miss Wiggly. Just went right down the line and went all the way down to the fence, down to the corner. Isla had to chase it down. Puts up three runs. Irish up now, 5 nothing. Nobody out. Runner on second now. All right, brings up Morgan Honeycutt. Down low for a ball. But he needs to start just attacking these hitters. In there for a strike. Being picked up again. The pitch. Ball, ball. Brings up one ball, two strikes on that foul ball. Nobody out. Runner in second. Swing and a miss. Throw it down first. Drop ball. Threw it down. Taylor throws it down first for that out. So that brings up one out. Runner does advance over to three on that throw. Important for you to get that out there. One out. Top of the fifth. Irish has pushed three across the plate. And for a strike. New balls, one strike, one out. Top of the fifth. In there for a strike. Just stowing up to bat. Just one for one on the day. Ball, ball. That one got up over the fence. Ground ball down the third base side. Eddie Fletcher. It's going to be a tough play at first. She decided not to throw it. Try to do a quick flip back to Megan, catching 
uh, behind, coming behind that third there. Did not quite get the, uh, got the tag down, just not in time. Runner got out. So we got runners at first and third, one out. Pop fly, got room, Taylor's got room. Taylor makes that grab. That's a big out. It's a very big out. He needs to hold these, uh, hold this down just to a three run inning. Two down. Outside for a ball. So we miss runner advances down to third on that. To the backstop, that's a ball. Two balls, one strike. Two out. Top of the fifth. Outside for a ball. Brings it three balls, one strike. Up high for a ball. That loads the bases back up for Rosemont. Prince will come up to bat. In there for a strike. Base is loaded, two down. Irish up 5 nothing. Bo top of the fifth. Had the bases loaded, double, bringing all three runs in. Outside for a ball. One ball, one strike. Two outs, top of the fifth here. Rosemont up. Five. Nothing over Eagan Wildcats. Once again, beautiful day out here at Eagan Wildcat Park. Kind of slipped out of her hand. It's a ball. Large crowd out here again. Ooh. Definitely pulled that ball on the changeup. That actually, folks, went hard left all the way over to up over all fences, almost into the tree pond. Outside for a ball. Three balls, two strikes. You can see the runners going here, two outs. Definitely something happening on this pitch, folks. Once again, if you've got time, come on out. we got another game going on after this one. Double headers going on throughout the South Suburban Conference today. Once again, she absolutely turned on that. She has to do the old one Mississippi, two Mississippi to, to hold herself. Let that ball travel into the plate. Full count, runners are going. Isla makes a catch down there on the left field side. Didn't quite see it, but great catch for her. That strands, the base is full. Bottom of the fifth coming up. Rosemont five, Egan Wildcat zero. It's something about having that piece of paper. Some people think that's worth more than my skills. I've run this place for 20 years, but I still need to prove that I'm more than what you see on paper. so good they can't ignore you. It's the way my mind works. I have a very mechanical brain. Analytics and empathy. That's how I gain clients. I am more. I'm more than who I am on paper. Watch, 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 watch,
Wash your hands for 20 seconds, just like Elmo. Good afternoon, everyone, at Eagan Wildcat Stadium. My name is Steve Witt. Here at uh, Eagan Wildcat Stadium, we've got the South Suburban Conference game, Rosemont Irish 5, Eagan Wildcat 0, leading off the bottom of the fifth. All right, start leading off with uh, Egan, number 30, Lauren Borger. Lauren 0 for 1 for the day. Balled it off. No balls, one strike. Balled it back. On the mound for Rosemont Irish, Miss Fry. Doing a great job out there. Kind of a check swing, pop fly to the first baseman. One down. Brings up next Isla Lodeblosser. Outstanding foul ball catch there into the that Rosemont tilt. Outside for a ball. One ball, no strikes. Isla's got some speed. She does lay it down once in a while. Hard hit. Hard hit right to the second baseman. Line drive hit. Out, I should say. Two down. That brings us back to the top of the order. Number 14, Drew Busley up to bat. Swings at change up. As mentioned before, Drew will be attending the University of Sioux Falls. She'll be playing basketball and softball, two sport athlete. Drew, a lazy pop fly to the second baseman. That was a quick, that was a four pitch inning by Rosemont. And a five. Rosemont Irish five, even Wildcat zero. part. You quit smoking. Now do the easy part and get scanned for lung cancer. If you smoked, you may still be at risk, but early detection could save your life. Talk to your doctor and learn more at savedbythescan.org. How you holding up? Nothing wrong with getting help. If I promise to look into it, Will you drop it and help me build this fence? <laughs> now you need my help. If you or a veteran you know needs support, don't wait. Reach out. Find resources at va.gov reach. Welcome back, everyone. We're at Egan Wildcat Stadium, Egan, Minnesota, South Suburban Conference. Doubleheader today. Friendly confines of Egan Wildcat Stadium. Got a friends up the road on Highway 3, Rosemont Irish visiting today. Doubleheader, like I said. A lot of doubleheaders throughout South Suburban. Rosemont Irish 5, Eugene Wildcats 0. Outside for a ball. Go to bat. Miss Newsom for Irish. 1 for 2 on the day. Pull it down the line. These pitchers have done a great job of keeping the uh, hitters off balance today, especially with that wind and so forth. Some of the batters might get a little greedy and try and go for the go for the fence. Right now, wind looks like it's going straight out to center field. Then it kind of looks like it's going straight out to left field. 
In there for a strike. One ball, two strikes. Top of the sixth. Time running out for Egan. Outside there for a ball. Pretty, pretty straight up. Everyone's playing. That's going to get out of here for a foul ball. Two balls, two strikes. Once again, great crowds out here today. Outside for a ball. Three balls, two strikes. A lot of people wearing shorts. I know I'm wearing shorts, t-shirts. Wind has made it a little cool sometimes. Go for a ball. Puts the runner on first once again. Rosemont putting runners on pretty much every single inning. Looks like we're probably going to have a pinch runner, maybe. Courtesy runner for the catcher. Number 55, Amelia. Up the right fielder. just writing in his notebook. Make sure we got all our play, play, players properly identified. And we don't have any double entries going on. Grabs another foul ball. Spear ball. All right. Rosemont steps up to the plate. Number nine is Bartle. One for two on the day. Outside for a ball. Run on first for Rosemont. Rosemont leading 5 nothing over the Wildcats. High and outside for ball. Taylor decides to throw it down first. See if we can kind of catch that. Person sleeping down there? Not. Two balls, one strike, or excuse me, two balls, no strikes. Nobody out. Top of the sixth. Up high for a ball. This is a double header. This is the first game. Lydia Tober on the mound for the Eden Wildcats. Looks in for the sign. Taylor Bertrand in the pitch. High outside, that's a ball. Second walk issued by Lydia. Runners in first and second. For Rosemont, brings up Miss Fry. Joy Fry, she's two for three on the day. Joy's uncommitted at this time. Kind of a check swing foul. Side for ball. One ball, one strike. Runners on first and second for Rosemont. Top of six here. Nobody out. Egan's got to shut this down. If they want to stay in this. Outside for ball. Two balls, one strike. This Fry's done an excellent job on the mound today for Rosemont, keeping the Egan batters off balance. Pop fly. We'll see if I can, can fall right in that no man zone. All right, kind of went into no man zone. We threw it down to third. Third was uh, throw was offline. Runners advance. Runner scores on that. Overthrow. 
So Rosemont has runners at second and third, nobody out. Quick get together for Egan on the mound, just kind of settle everybody's nerves, deep breath. Reset yourselves. Once again, that ball kind of just dropped in the no man zone there. Brings up number five, just outside, Miss Wiggly. She's one for three for the day. All right, one ball, no strikes. So, see if it gets out of play. That's out of play on for a foul. Brings the count to one and two. It's been a great day out here at Egan Wildcat Stadium. Come on out if you can. A lot of time. Got a double header going on. That's low for a ball. Thanks again to Egan TV for coming on out here to broadcast the games. Low and inside for a ball. Three balls, one strike. Low for a ball. Loads them up again. Got nobody down. Pinch runner here. Steph coming Steph coming in to run. Number two, runner at second base. Sonny cut up the plate for Rosemont. Over three. Got bases loaded. Nobody out. One ball, no strikes. Irish, Irish up 6 nothing. Ground ball. Just found that hole a little bit between the third and short. Brings in a runner. Base is still loaded. Nobody out. Stone up to bat for Rosemont. In there for a strike. Down low for a ball. Wind looks like it's circling again. Going straight out. That's a foul back. Heads up. One ball, two strikes. Going through a lot of balls today. Okay, go over and get a couple more from Coach Duncan. Once again, a lot of double headers going on throughout the South Suburban Conference today. A lot of other double headers going on also throughout the Minnesota area. Apple Valley is at Lakeville North. Farmington is at Eastview. Shakopee is visiting Burnsville. All right, one ball, two strikes. Top of the sixth. Up high for a ball. Bases are loaded, nobody out. Egan dancing with the devil again. Bases loaded, nobody out. Rosemont's pretty much had runners every inning. Outside for a ball. Stone at the plate, one for two for the day. Three balls, two strikes. Hard line drive. Just off the edge of the glove, Lauren Larson. 
So I'll bring in another run for Rosemont. Eight nothing. Nobody out. Bases are still loaded. A pie for a ball. Right now, Egan just wants to minimize the damage. Get out of here. Get back in there. Try to get some runs. Get some hits. Got to string some hits together. A pie for a ball. One ball. No strikes. Peyton Benson up the bat. Up high for a ball. Peyton's 0 for 2 for the day. Top of the sixth. In there for a strike. Oh, just over her glove again. Nice base hit there by Miss Benson. Bringing his two runs. Nobody out. Runners at first and second. Goes back to the top of the order. He's looking for a hit here. Looking for an out. Egan's looking for an out. Got to start with the basics. It's Hanson up to bat for Rosemont. Ball, ball. Back down to bases for Egan. Just field the ball. Get it out. Most important part right here. It's outside for a ball. One ball, one strike. Top of the sixth. Outside for a ball. Rosemont's pushed it across five runs this inning so far. In there for a strike. Two balls, two strikes. Top of the sixth. Ball, ball. Three balls, two strikes. Let's see if the runners take off here. They'll probably hold just in case there's a line drive so they don't get doubled off. Just outside. Walk issued. Brings it back to runners at each base. Bases are loaded. up. Number 13 is Pritzel. I believe she's committed. I'm not sure which might be Creighton, but I know she does have a, has created or is committed. Snap throw down to third. Nothing there. Yeah, six four, yeah, six four. One, five, one. Top of the six. Nobody out. Got to get it out here. Out there for a strike. Again. One ball, two strikes. Egan looking for an out here. Time for a changeup. 
That gets past Eilig to go all the way to the fence. It's going to be one run in, two runs in. Stand up double, clears the bases. Uh, Christian calling time. Meeting of the minds out there deciding what, which way he wants to go. Right now we are in a run rule in effect. Egan does get there at bat here at the bottom of the sixth since they are the home team. For the second game we will be switching though. The, uh, Rosemont will be the home team and Egan will be the away team since we're doing double headers today. Like Drew Busley's running in from center field. Looks like she'll probably be going back out on the mound. Out in the center field, Jocelyn McClary will go out into center field. As mentioned before, the South Suburban Conference game, very early in the season in the standings, so Rosemont was sitting at the top of the standings here, 2-0. Looking to go 3-0, possibly 4-0 for the day. A lot of double headers going on today. The reason for the double headers, we are Minnesota State High School League. They're a little short on umpires, so if you're interested in umpiring, I urge you to reach out to the uh, Minnesota State High School League, become an umpire. All right, no pitching change was had. Lydia still on the mound for Egan. Just throws a strike. For Rosemont, new hitter, Ben Herbert, number 24. Steps in, left-hander. Jams are inside, foul ball. Outside for a ball. Nobody out. Ball, ball. Two, two, the count. Pitch. In there for a strike on the inside. We get it out. One down. <laughs> Number two staff is barding is going to be uh, hitting for Miss Bartle. So staff jumping in the box here, getting getting at bat for Rosemont. One down. So you're gonna miss. No balls, one strike. Top of the six here, Rosemont up. 13 to nothing over Egan. Another swing and a miss here, 0-2 count. 
Looks like the foul ball is very clear. Oh, two count, one down. Another foul ball. Double header today. Still got time to come on down. Catch the second game. Top of the six, one down. No balls, two strikes. Staying alive. Ball back. Runner at second for Rosemont. Slow roller to second. Picked up by Lauren Larson. Gets the out. Two down. Advances the runner over to third, though. Good. Two down. Good job by Lydia to recover a little bit here. Put the bat, Miss Fry from here's the pitcher. What's going on? Pop fly. Miscommunication by Egan. Brings in a run. It's like we'll have a runner again, possibly, for Miss Fry in first. All right, looks like we're a new hitter. Miss Ross, number 55, first time in at the plate. Getting a swing. Two down. Oh, umpire still has a question for the head coach. Rosemount. Always got to make sure we got all the lineup changes straight out so we're not double entry on the players and positions. Wind is still blowing pretty good. Still got lots of smiles on the fans and on the fans just because it's just so darn nice outside. All right, I think we're reset here. Two out, runner at first for Rosemont. Up high for a ball. Quick snap down to first for Taylor. Swing and miss. One ball, one strike, two out, top of the sixth. Yeah. Up high and deep. That is gone. Got it up in the air. Ross with the home run. Brings in two more. As you tell in the replay, just got it up in the air. That's all it takes. All right, re entry for Drew Busley on the mound.
All right, back in the mound is Drew Busley. Rosemont Irish with the big inning here. Kind of pretty much put this one away. Just trying to get through, get another out. But he can get up to bat. Is Honeycutt up to bat? One for three on the day. Down low for a ball. He just wants to get, get it out here. Get up, get some hacks, get some belief going here. Get some strings, some hits together. Swing this. Just gets themselves mentally prepared for the second game. Attack the second game. One ball, one strike. Two out. Swing, ball tip. Pitch, high and outside. Two two count. Two out. Change up. Foul ball. Once again, thank you to Egan TV for coming on out. Really appreciate the girls, really appreciate it. All the teams appreciate it. Low outside. Three balls, two strikes. I know all the teams, Sanders Center, Athletic Director for Union High School. We all appreciate your hard work and dedication. And the pitch. Oh, Stop it. Didn't quite handle that one. Right, Fletcher at third. Hard hit. Probably some ruts starting to happen out there. Uh, Miss Stone up to bat, two for three on the day. A strike. Fall back. Pitch low for the ball. Come back to Drew Busley. There it is. Third out for Egan. Egan finally ends the misery. Rosemont, 11 runs that inning. They've now gone up 16 to 0. Bottom of the sixth coming up. We do we can get their home run home and then we'll go on from there. Fostering a pet for a friend or neighbor can keep families together. Learn more at petsandpeopletogether.org. Welcome back, Egan Wildcat Stadium. Coming up, bottom of the uh, six here. Rosemont put a big crooked number up. Egan just wants to. Uh, Get a few, string a few hits together, get some confidence back, and attack the next game. Uh, try to get, put a couple of runs up here, but mostly get the confidence back uh, with that. Up to bat, the senior, number 16, Jaden Turner. We'll lead it off at the bottom of the sixth. We are into a run rule situation, so if Egan does uh, 
happen to go one, two, three. Uh, ten, ten run rule is in effect, so this game will be over at that time. There will be no seventh inning. Be a short break then going into the second game. I'm not sure how long the short break is. That will be decided by the umpires how long the break there will be. Quick conversation with the umpire with uh, Rosemount. Full of stands today, people out in the outfield, making a lot of stuff happen. Still a little too early to do that yard work. Some yards uh, may still be a little bit wet, but uh, I'm sure e everyone's eager to get out and do start doing yard work. Foul ball by Jaden Turner, senior captain for Egan. Miss Fry for Rosemont still on the mound. So far, Rosemont's put up 13 hits and one error. He has put up two hits on five errors. Swing and a miss. No balls, two strikes. Foul tip out, number one. Coming up to bat, number 77, Matty Kenzie. Senior. So Matty's in there getting a, getting a hack and a swing outside for a ball. Up five for a ball. Tried to change up. Two balls, no strikes. Swinging a bit, two balls, one strike. Rosemont put up a crooked number there in the top of the sixth. In there for a strike, two balls, two strikes to Maddie Kenzie, senior. Change up. Wind still blowing out. Ball drop third strike, foul. Runs it down, throw out, out number two. All right, brings up number three, Megan Witt, senior. Two down, bottom of the sixth. First strike, hitting that outside corner. No balls, two strikes. Up high for a ball. See if she will rise ball, see if she chase it up. One ball, two strikes, two outs. That's strike three looking. That completes the game for Rosemont. So we have a final because of the 10-run rule. Rosemont Irish 16, Wildcats 0. That's game number one. Game number two will be coming up. We've got a short break coming up here. And we'll have a little bit of a break here. And while they drag the field a little bit by both teams. Short snack. I know we got some hot dogs here. So if you still got time to come on out. Love to see you out here. Got a great crowd. Come out and see your friends. I know we got a lot of uh, alumni out here. Egan alumni. Seen uh, some Rosemont alumni out here so if you got some time come on out we've got another game coming up 16 runs 12 hits 
Rosemont, Egan, no runs, two hits. Beginning by Rosemont there in the sixth inning, kind of put this one away. They were Egan was in it up through the fourth, fifth inning, keeping it quite close. Just a couple little, a couple little errors, kind of opened the floodgates for Rosemont. Thank you much. We'll see you in a short break.